Elite Boxing presents... Now moving on for a slightly different angle now with the first female bout of the Thailand versus Challenger series. This is an all-tie affair though. First fighter out into the ring, Saza saw Ari. It's well known now for uh, not just for her boxing talents, also for her singing skills. They've obviously seen a market for her with her looks as well and decided to promote uh, not just her boxing talent, but she's also been releasing some singles and albums. This is actually Sasa now coming up. The, the first fire entering was her opponent, Roy Chumpool, 13 Coins Resort. So says I saw Ari there. Again, the fighters are performing the Waikaru. The female fighters not allowed over the ropes traditionally in uh, Muay Thai, so they'll put the monk on, on the head when they're in the ring. Indeed, this is something of a departure, isn't it? The main stadiums Bangkok in Bangkok, Lumpini and Rajasthan. Yeah, there, no, and uh, this is another area, as you say, that elite boxing are forging ahead and uh, taking the sport to a different level with the allowance of the females into the ring. Yeah, Bangkok and Lumpini stadiums. Uh, do not allow uh, girls to fight there. It's, it's part of the tradition, the background of, of Muay Thai, that girls uh, don't go in, in the ring. Elsewhere, in other stadia, they, they, there is an allowance that they can. But the standard, the level of the Thai fighters, the female fighters, really come on in the last few years with promoters like uh, Song Chai Rutan Suban and, and also his daughter involved as well, pushing the female scene. They've kind of given an opportunity for the female fighters to fight in Thailand and uh, the Channel 9 fights, that's win dumb fights as well. Yes, yes. So there's been a bit of an explosion of talent with the yes. female Muay Thai scene in recent years. Yes, it's, I think it's good to see in Thailand that a lot of the young girls um, school at the schools. Uh, a lot of schools are teaching Muay Thai now, and as we saw, uh, we saw in one of the earlier programs, there was uh, the Muay Boran demonstration. A lot of the schools are, are teaching Muay Boran and, and Muay Thai and Muay Thai fitness, which is good to see. It's helping to keep the heritage and the traditions alive as well. Yes. Although the sport's moving very fast into the 21st century, it's it's nice to see that the Thai cultural side of it is still kept at the forefront as well. Both fighters looking very focused there before the action gets underway. So it doesn't look too much different size wise. Uh, Saza just a little bit of a height advantage. Saza in the red vest. Roy Chompu in the white vest. Both experienced uh, fighters. Roy Chompu actually trains out of Sip Sam or 13 Coins Resort alongside uh, some of the legendary Thai fighters at the moment, such as Sanchai Sol King Star and Pontane 13 Coins Express. as are the busier boxer in these opening exchanges. Yep, she's uh, coming forward, taking the fight to Ploi Chompu here. Oh. 
guy just looking for the overhand right there. Just having a look at each other here in the opening round. Both not committed too much yet. Fight like moving into the clinch here. Good skills there from Zaza at the start. Just turning Ploy Chompu around there. Really just shows uh, already that uh, the girls game, the girls fight game is, is just the same as the boys game. There's there's no difference to that. They knee, elbow, yeah, punch all kick, the techniques. all the same techniques are the same. 